Hey guys, it's Ruby here with the Orthodox Aquatics. As I've told you guys before, um, I'm a freak for native fish. I like to uh, catch them, throw them in tanks or pools, and uh, raise them up. So um, I am here. <music> about a mile from my home in a culvert and I just wanted you guys to witness me pulling up my bait trap. I just got this and uh, chummed it this morning so uh, I don't know what there will be in there but uh, let's check it out. Oh, I see something. I think. Oh, yeah. Not too much. It's only been in there for a couple hours. My most success with bait traps has been leaving it overnight. So, let's see what we got here. We got a small, oops, small bluegill. Wherever he went. Oh, another one, I think. Here, let's use this hand. Oh, come on. Small bluegill. I'm going to toss him back because I already have plenty of those. What is this? Ooh, decent sized shiner. Keep him for fishing. What do we got here? This guy, I believe, hold on, stay still guy, might be one of those banded killifish, maybe something else. I might have to double check on that. Another shiner, and, oh, hmm. Another one of those banded things. Oh, oh, I got quite a few of those. Sweet. I'll have to ask Mark at Jonah's Aquarium for confirmation on those. Is that it? Okay, I think so. All right, so I'm going to throw this sucker back in and uh, check again later. It's chummed with a, a special mixture that I chop up and blend of different kinds of frozen fish. And, um, and then I uh, blend it up, chop it fine, and press it flat into like an ice tray. Here, let's try this again. There we go, that's where I wanted her. All right. Now this is the other side of that culvert across the street. Super shallow here also, and maybe at its narrowest, two feet across. Uh, this is where I netted that two foot bowfin. I will show you guys when I get back. I threw her in my big seven foot native pool and uh, I am actually probably going to line that today with a new liner. So we'll see what we can do about that. So I'm throwing them here in the cooler. I've already got some other shiners, sunnies. Oops, that goldfish isn't supposed to be in there. Some rosies because I was never know when I want to stop by the side of the road and fish. So of course. Now I want to show you guys uh, something else cool that I got. I actually started doing this last summer. This is my compound bow. And uh, uh, bow fishers use these to get fish in the culverts. Now, in Minnesota, where I'm from, 
uh, I'm not sure about the other states, but you can only um, bow fish for rough fish, which are things like carp, sucker, bowfin, uh, stuff like that. Um, speaking of bowfin, I did get one with a dip net uh, last week, and uh, I threw her in my big seven foot native pool with um, those uh, bass. So, uh, I'll give you a peek into that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change uh, the liner on that. So This is my mini pistol style crossbow. Uh, this one does not actually have a reel on it like the other one, but um, I bet you I could rig one up. And it uses these cute pink little arrows, which are called bolts sharp as shit so uh, yeah just wanted to show you guys that fun stuff all right going back home so uh, I'm back at home with uh, this 30 gallon long my cold water uh, fresh water um, native tank um, it's basically a grow out since everything I catch in traps is uh, juvenile the biggest thing I caught in a trap was uh, a six inch bullhead and he's in my uh, small pool in the other room. So um, here's a better picture. I just did a big water change on it yesterday. Took out all that wood because it's super hard to get around. Uh, so that one I believe is a baby, I thought it was a baby green, but we don't really get those around here. Doesn't really have any pattern. Does have the red eyes, it could be a pumpkin seed. So. Uh, there's one of those banded killifish in action, and Dylan did just confirm for me that uh, it was one of those. And they can get pretty large. Right uh, there, super cool juvie rock bass. A stickleback that I got in my bait. Uh, what else? A couple more, uh, what you call it, rock bass. There's also, where is he? There's also a little, oh, there's a mud minnow. I got him in some bait too. Super beautiful and graceful. Oh, I just love them. But I'm looking for, where is he? He likes to hide be on the ground I uh, guess I'm not sure he'll pop up eventually uh, he's a little um, a, uh, a darter oh, wait is that him oh I can't remember where I saw him okay so, yeah, uh, I do have a small, this is a little QT pail. I also netted up a small pumpkin seed sunfish. I'm going to set up a, uh, a full proper QT bin for all my natives. So, uh, we'll add these guys, uh, to the tank in a little bit and uh, let me show you uh, what I have going in the outdoor pool. Here's that darter, he came out. They're little ground dwellers. Oops, where'd he go? There he is. Super cool little fish, kind of looks like a little mud skipper and if you look up darters like uh, there's so many like rainbow darter, um, all these ones are super pretty. So here we are once again in my shed uh, where I redid this pool into a native. Um, the liner is a little shoddy because it wasn't big enough. A mouse had chewed a, a hole in it over the winter. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do, uh, I wanted to set it up quick and easy um, for uh, fishing openers. So I just threw it in there willy-nilly. I'm going to be uh, cutting out 
the remainder of the black liner that's going over the edge and laying down this green tarp liner that's exactly the size of the pool. So, <laughs> from the last video, these guys are doing good. Oh, where is he? There he is. bass squeezing their way through under a rock and this is my big girl she is a bowfin that bowfin I was talking about species is called Amia calva and she's got to be a solid two feet long these guys breathe air and uh, they are a very common sporting uh, rough fish amongst bow hunters. You can also catch them with rods. Super cool. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys an update. Well, guys, thanks again for joining me today. This has been Ruby with Unorthodox Aquatics. Uh, tune in for updates on the native guys. Honestly, that's a majority of what I do or talk about on YouTube during summertime. So... Uh, I'm going to go work on that pond and escape that tank, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.